What's up guys? Welcome to the video. Woo. It's Sunday today. I'm here with Levi. Sundays we like to go out here, explore the nature a bit, get outside. This week was a really good week. We got to do a lot of stuff with the team. We got to skate, work out. So it's gonna be a lot of new content now. Can't wait to show you guys that. All right guys, so I'm gonna give you five seconds to guess what is in this box. All right, answer's locked in. I'm gonna open this guy up. Here we go. Whoa. Boom, right there, new skates. Comment below if you guessed it right. So I ordered a pair of true skates. I've had the pair that I have right now for two years. So now I got these guys and look at that. They look pretty sweet. I got a custom number on the tongue for this year. Super pumped to have these skates. Even though they're molded to my foot, I'm still gonna have to bake them. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. And if you got skates now, your feet are hurting, you're having problems, you probably won't be going wrong with trying this brand out right here. All right, so I've never baked my own skates before. I've always got it done at the rink or a sports store. So I figured that I'd just take you guys through the process. I got a tutorial video here by True, and that way if you guys ever need to bake your own skates, maybe you can learn something from this. Roughly 180 degrees in a convection oven. I'm gonna set this up, preheat this bad boy, and then I'll throw in the skates. As I wait for that to heat up, I'm gonna answer a quick question by Boggs Productions. Like I said, you guys can ask some questions in the comments and then I'll answer them. Boggs Productions asked me what time you usually go to bed. So I usually go to bed anywhere in between 12 and one o'clock. It's pretty late, but I honestly can't fall asleep before 12, it never works. If I try to go to bed at 11, I'm just lying in bed. So usually between 10 and 12, I'll spend on my laptop or doing homework, doing something productive. And then when I get tired, I'll end up going to bed. I'm a night owl. I still get eight hours of sleep a night. So that's what works for me. Also, I wanna give a shout out to Austin Leonard. He's a rep from True Hockey and he helped me get these skates. So thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it. And thanks for this tutorial video as well. So the oven's ready at 180 degrees right now. I'm about to throw these in. I took the blades out just because I was worried about wrecking them, but I think it's okay to put them in. I would be lying to you if I told you I wasn't nervous about throwing these guys in here right now, but you know, this is we're gonna learn together and if I mess up, then you guys know what not to do at least. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna stick these up. They're too tall to go straight up and down. So I got a little teepee, a little true hockey teepee in the oven. 10 minutes at 180, let's hope for the best. All right guys, they're hot, they're nice and warm. Not too warm though, now I gotta get them on. So the thing about trues, they are super tight if you're not used to true skates. But they loosen up after a little bit Okay, so now that they're all laced up, I just have to sit here 15 minutes with my knee over neath the skate. As I'm waiting for the skates to cool down, I'll let you know what we got up for the rest of the week. So we've started doing dryland training off the ice just outside, and we're also getting on the ice for the first time as a team. It's not like a practice, we're just renting the ice and then playing a scrimmage. Pretty much just to get back on the ice, get the feel for things again. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. If I can't get on ice footage this week, it'll definitely be coming in the future. So that's it, I think it actually worked out pretty well. I didn't wreck my new skates. And that is how you bake your skates at home. Thanks for watching. Home dressers, <laughs> it will. What's up? When's the last time you dressed at home before a hockey game? Probably when I was four. How about you, Levi? Besides yesterday, when's the last time? In high school when the rink was too cold. <laughs> Bates, your bag looks a little dusty there. When's the last time you're on the ice? Yeah, COVID uh, had a pretty big impact on my summer, so I wasn't uh, able to hit the ice. Can I swim past sock tape? <laughs> Cheers.
damage. Move. Thanks, Ralph. I got you next time. How do you use black? I don't know. Goalie can't see the puck. <laughs> hey, Alexa. Play Burn It to the Ground by Nickelback. Burn It to the Ground by Nickelback from Spotify. <laughs> Looks like you have like the biggest net guard on ever right now. <laughs> We're a bunch of Canadians. The worst part about this is we still gotta wear these things. COVID. That's what we're gonna be looking like out there today. Not sure if I'll be able to breathe. Good luck. Thank you. Let's go, Levi. Let's freaking go. All right. Chris, how's the skate? It was good. The masks weren't too bad, but it was good to get everyone out. Got a good sweat, and uh, my dad Colton Bates didn't have a heart attack, so it's the best part. How's the skate? Oh, it's a little rusty, but it felt good. Now get my legs back a little bit. What do you say? You felt a little out of shape there, or were you uh, training hard this summer? Well, I was doing, uh, you know, what you could with the quarantine, so I felt pretty good. We decided to do something a little spontaneous and wake up at six in the morning to just be productive. Today we grabbed coffees from Starbucks. We're pretty much gonna be taking this time just to get homework done, maybe some editing for myself. Levi, I don't know if Levi's found a hobby yet. Will's gonna be doing a variety of different things. So another thing that we're also gonna be doing is taking six minutes and 30 seconds of these mornings to answer any questions that you guys have. We're kind of do like a mini podcast almost. And what you guys need to do, just comment questions, and at the end of the question, say, for the morning men, and we would love to talk about them in the next video. Cheers. Down the hatch. Thank you for watching this video. You'll see the morning men next week. <laughs> That's it. That's it, buddy. That's it.